G'day guys, Jason from the Outer Farm here. We're actually on the trial property this morning. We're gonna process that steer that we've had cell grazing in this paddock for the last few months. Obviously you can see the butchers already set up their freezer, or should I say fridge, cold room, to pre-chill it. They're down the paddock now doing the kill and the bleed out. So I'm not gonna show that on video. I don't feel that's right. So what I wanna do is give you guys warning. So what we're gonna be doing down there is video taping the carcass cut up all my viewers out there that don't want to see the process of an animal being corded or cut up turn the video off now or skip over and watch another video i'm giving you guys the opportunity i don't want to offend anybody what we'll do is we'll head down now and we'll go through the process of cutting up a full carcass like I mentioned guys, I didn't want to show you the kill, it's not the right thing to do. So I've got the mobile butchers out here now, they've just shot him and he's now relaxed on the ground. So we'll start the process from now of cut him into the quarters. We're just cleaning out insides around the frame. The heart, the kidneys, the stomach, it all comes out of the carcass. And then that waste product you can either keep it or you can bury it with skin in the head. So we cut it through the backbone there, right through to get it halves, and now it's the process of cut it in the quarters. There's the two hind quarters.
So now they're working on the four quarters. Look at the young fella go, you think he's done a butchery friendship. He loves it. So what we're doing now, I should have said what we're doing, is making that one part of it. What the boys are doing now is hosing them out, get rid of that bone they've chainsaw, get it all clean before they put it in the freezer. The last thing you want to do is eating bone when you're getting meat. Needs your two four quarters. Be interesting on process day, I'm going to do two videos. This is about getting into the quarters and on processing day, the cut up day. Find out how much fat there is on that skin. This is the first totally grass fed animal that we've done. Generally, before we started the regenerative farming, we always had them in the yard for a process of eight weeks and just feeding them grain, grain, grain to get some fat on, get some marbling. But this is the first fully solid grass one we've, we've had. The only time we do give them grain is if we've got to bring them into the crush area and we've got to work on them. So either put poison on for ticks, do them for ticks, or flies. There's no other substitute grain. If it's drought, we use we prefer to use the hay, buy hay or fodder before we use grain. Grain is always the last resort. We're trying to get away from grain. Um, was his back end bigger than his front? Should have been, yeah. So the two four quarters went in, we're working on the hind quarters now. Oh. 
Right, eh? So that's the skinning complete. Skin off. Time to weigh them and throw them into the freezer. Fridge, I should say. Last thing I want is put them into a freezer. Fifty-nine. Not that much heavier than the four-quarter. So the hind quarter was nine kilos heavier than the four-quarter. Dump these into the fridge now. So there we have it guys, all four quarters. Two of the hind quarters, and then we've got the four quarters. And all the offal in the box. That whole process from the initial kill to hanging the carcass in quarters in this cold room is an hour. So the process is really fast when you've got guys that know what they're doing. They were clean and they were fast on the knife. Let's talk about the hanging period now. We hang ours for a minimum of a week and generally that's the minimum period. A lot of people or so, or few people do like to go longer and age the meat more. We always use that one week period as a minimum. The reason why you gotta have a minimum of a week is two reasons. The first and foremost is the meat has to go through its enzymatic process. Simplified version of that is meat contains enzymes. What happens is that enzyme, it gives it a chance for the enzymes to get into the fibers of the muscle and make it softer and more elastic, which ultimately ends up giving you a more relaxed and tender meat. And the second reason is, is to firm up that carcass. If, you ever, if you've ever tried to cut meat from straight from the kill floor or if you buy meat from the supermarket and try and cut it up it's very soft it's like jelly it, it hasn't formed firmness the week in here firms up that meat which then allows it to be cut with a bandsaw cut with a knife it's nice and firm it would almost be impossible to cut your cuts if it was like jelly just straight off the kill floor so that's the second reason what we'll do is I'm gonna take the butchering of when they cut all the different various cuts of the meat and do a separate video on that. I also might do a video on cryovacking and how we like to freeze ours. So on that note, hope you have a good morning, a terrific afternoon and an awesome evening guys. Where are you watching this from? And we'll catch you later.